All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be covering all the details for the upcoming transforming Kefla that's going to be dropping on JP in about, I want to say a day and a half to two days from now. And as expected, she is absolutely incredible guys, like really really freaking good so we'll definitely start with her here but on top of that we also have a new int vados that's coming with the banner and also token awakenings for the tech base califla and also the str base kale over here so definitely a lot of stuff to cover in this video hopefully we won't take uh, too long but before we get into the actual you know breakdown of each of these units. Let's actually start with the super attack animations for the Vados and the Kefla, specifically the Kefla, because they are honestly some of the best I've ever seen. I mean, I know I say that almost every single time that a new banner drops, but it's the truth. It's facts every single time because they just keep improving on these animations with every release. And while I don't personally feel like they're on the same level, as a new UI Goku on global, um, they're probably still like in the top maybe three for like TURs and probably overall at least in the top 10, maybe higher. I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to process it a little bit more. But anyways, enough talking. Enjoy the animations. Here we go. All right. So we're starting with Vados, which is okay, but nothing special. And then we'll get into the Kefla, which is insane. Okay, here we go. So here's the Vados. Oh, hold up, actually, I don't, I don't think I've had the audio for my desktop turned on. Okay, here we go. We're gonna restart. Desktop audio is now on. Enjoy. There you go. Like I said, the Vados animation. Nothing crazy, but this is what we're here for. And this is what we're here for. So this is her super attack animation, of course, in her base form. And then she transforms into Super Saiyan. There's the transformation. And then here is Super Saiyan 1 Kefla. It's, it's just... I love all the the close-ups the, the slow-mo like their use of these like just little effects make a really big difference man it really does and here's her transformation to super saiyan 2 obviously and here is the active skill so she does have an active skill as well which we'll get to of course in the actual breakdown of the details Dude, she looks so good. She actually looks so damn good. Uh, let me let me replay that uh, active skill part because I did talk over it, so I apologize. It's my bad. Um, let's see. Here we go. Oh man, um, so yeah, like I said, some of the best animations I've definitely seen from a TUR, and even by LR standards, man, these are some pretty freaking quality animations, and they just keep getting better and better and better with every release, so I wasn't really hyped about Kefla before, because to me, she was just like, you know, a, a decent character, right? Like, I don't want to piss off anybody, obviously, that you know, is a huge Kefla fan, or just a huge Saiyan Girls fan, I think they're fine, I do like them, I just, I'm not crazy about them like some people, but still, like, watching this animation, or these, this set of animations for this new Kefla, definitely make me much, much more hyped for her eventual release on Global, as a Global main, of course, and, uh, what else was, was I gonna say? Oh. And also, her details make me more hyped for her too, because she is incredible, like I said in the beginning of this video. Okay, so, you know what, before we move on, let's just finish off these animations that are playing behind me, because they're worth waiting for, so 
That's led her to her uh, second super attack here. Or third, I guess. Technically third. Okay, so there you go. And that's it. All right, so moving on to the Dokkan Wiki now, where they have a full breakdown of all the details for each of the forms. We're starting with the base form Kefla. And her leader skill is Universe 6, which is to be expected, and also a new category called Rapid Growth, which we, at this point in time, I don't think actually have any details for, you know, what the actual requirement is for units to be in this category, or what the actual, you know, pool of, cat, uh, of units are. But I would assume that there's going to be a good amount of Saiyans in there. Um, you know, obviously Khalifla, Kefla, uh, Kaba. Um, probably Goten and Trunks too, especially the kid ones. And we'll see who else is in there, but I do assume, I, I am thinking that there's going to be a decent amount of Saiyans in there for sure. And there's also Universe 6 of course, so Universe 6, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. And Rapid Growth category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Now the thing that gets me excited about this Universe 6 part is that we now have a better leader for the category than tech hit i'm not saying tech hit is bad per se but she's definitely going to be the better option for uh for this category right and her super attack raises attack causes immense damage and lowers defense and her passive is defense plus 100 percent attack plus 100 percent when, when performing a super attack and plus an additional attack plus 50 percent and high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks when six or more key spheres are obtained transform when conditions are met now the interesting thing is that you can actually run this girl with um the current super saiyan it's super saiyan 2 right the current super saiyan 2 kefla in the game because obviously she starts off as base form whereas the other kefla starts off as super saiyan 2 so uh, if you run them together then you got the other kefla changing orbs and then you got um, this Kefla obviously needing some orbs to get her full passive, so they're gonna play off each other really well And uh, if you don't want to do that, obviously you can also just bring like an STR Kaba who changes orbs too Essentially the point is you you, you want to bring an orb changer with her because she needs six orbs to get her full passive Transformation conditions are awesome. Just transform starting from the third turn from start of battle Just like the the trunks or the Zamasu and her links are same warrior race battlefield diva Fuse Fighter, Power Burst Up by God, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Patara, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Universe 6, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Last Resort, and Rapid Growth. Dude, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 categories. 10 categories for her. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the Super Saiyan 2 form. I was checking to see if there's anything I missed, but it doesn't look like there is. Once she transforms into Super Saiyan Kefla, her super attack will raise attack, just like uh, previous form, and cause immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And her passive is defense plus 150%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack with six or more key spheres obtained so at this point she's getting up to 200 percent attack with the six orbs and also a high chance to dodge once again and her transformation conditions is basically just transform when entering the next attacking turn when hp is 60 percent or more so as long as you are uh, above 60 percent hp when she comes back again after transforming to super saiyan so transform into Super Saiyan 2. Lynx, the only thing that changes is that she gets Super Saiyan instead of, uh, what changed here? Super Saiyan instead of Saiyan Warrior Race, I believe. Uh, yes, so much better Link. And uh, categories are the same, obviously. Super Saiyan Kefla, very solid. And then we get into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, which in theory could happen like the third time she comes into rotation, right? Yes, the third time she comes into rotation, she could transform into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla if you are above 60% HP. And her super attack raises attack, causes immense damage, and uh, massively lowers defense, which is 80% for three turns. That is huge. That is that is a 80 percent is a lot i don't know if you guys know that's that's a lot <laughs> and his pass her passive is key plus two defense plus 160 percent attack plus 160 percent when performing a super attack high chance 
of a fading enemy's attack, including super attack. So now, this is not conditional based on how much key you have, you just get this. And then launches an additional super attack with six or more key spheres obtained. So double super when she has those six spheres. And, um, you know, once again, if you're running her with like Kaba or the, the Fizz Kefla, um, she's going to be getting that pretty easily. And her active skill changes Fizz Key Spheres to SDR Key Spheres and attacks effective against all types for one turn. Can be activated when there is a pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga category enemy once only. So uh, basically you can activate this as soon as she transforms, but obviously you have to be facing either pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga enemies, um, otherwise you can't get this. But uh, yeah, this can make her pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, if, you, if you're already getting enough spheres, right, if you're already using like a, a Kaba or a Kefla, then it doesn't make that much of a difference for her as far as, um, you know, how many, like, like it, she's, not, she's not a nuker or anything like that, right? So she's not going to be able to like get more attack and defense beyond six spheres, but you're pretty much guaranteed that additional super and each of the supers will be effective against all types, just like Gogeta, right? So she's gonna be doing a lot of damage with those super attacks. And uh, once again, links are the same, I believe, as the previous form, and everything else, of course, remains the same. So uh, there's the Kefla, guys. I don't know if how, like, how you guys feel about her, what you guys think about her, but in my opinion, she's really freaking good. Um, she is very, very impressive, and she's gonna hit really hard. She's going to tank really hard, and She's just a overall very, very good unit, man. And when you combine that with those animations that we just saw, uh, definitely a much more hype unit than I initially anticipated. So uh, I can't wait, guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to a release. I'm looking forward to seeing some showcases, testing her out myself, and uh, possibly expect some videos about her in the near future because I'm legitimately like excited for this unit now. So there's the Kefla. Once again, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel. Let's move on quickly to the Dokken Awakenings for the Khalifla and Kale, as well as the Vados, before we go, alright? So, the Tech Khalifla is a dual category leader, Universe 6 or Peppy Gals, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, her super attack raises attack and defense just like before, and she causes supreme damage and lowers defense, and her passive is attack defense plus 80%, chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks plus 8% per universe 6 or peppy gals category ally on the team and also evades enemies attacks including super attacks when there is a universe 6 or sorry universe survival saga or pure saiyans category enemy launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there is an ally whose name includes kale attacking in the same turn so all of this stuff right here um, kind of remains the same from before except just bigger numbers. So I think this was 60% before and this was 6%. Now it's 80% and 8%. Her links are the same lineage, same warrior race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And by the way, she does get Fierce Battle, which is pretty exciting. Well, I was hoping for that. In her categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, and Rapid Growth. All right, so moving on to Kale now. She is pure Saiyans or Peppy Gals, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage and lowers defense, and her passive is attack and defense plus 80%, attack and defense plus 10% per pure Saiyans or Peppy Gals, category ally on the team, launches an additional super attack when there is a universe survival saga or pure Saiyans category enemy, and she guards against all attacks when there is an ally whose name includes Khalifla attacking in the same turn. So uh, she's going to be even more tanky than she was before. Obviously, when she stacked attack and defense before, um, over a couple of turns, she does get really tanky just because she raised her defense so many times, especially with the double supers. But now, she's also going to be um, activating her guard. She's going to be guarding against all attacks when she has Khalifla on the same rotation. So you run these two girls beside each other, and uh, they're going to be a pretty wild rotation, man. They're going to be a pretty wild rotation. Um, Lynx, same lineage, same warrior race, Battlefield Diva, rival duo, Warriors of Universe 6, 
uh, Tournament of Power and Fierce Battle. And categories, Pepe Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saints, Universe 6, Rapid Growth. Alright, so those are the two Awakenings for the base Sand Girls, Kale and Khalifla. And lastly, we have the new Int Vados, which like I said, is a new summonable unit that's coming with the Kefla banner. And her leader skill is Universe 6, Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack and seals super attack. Her passive is attack and defense plus 60% high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks, which is of course 50%. And she also gives Universe 6, Realm of Gods, a Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple category allies, attack and defense plus 20%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there is another universe 6 category ally attacking in the same turn. So on the surface, this passive doesn't seem that impressive, you know, like attack and defense plus 60%, high chance to dodge of course is great, but then she only gives attack and defense plus 20% for units in these categories. Like it's not that good by today's standards, but if she works in the way that I'm understanding it, that I think she works, and obviously I can't confirm this, we don't have all the information, but uh, she could actually be quite insane if she works in this way. And what I'm thinking is that she will give this attack and defense boost um, multiple times to units that are in more than one of these categories, right? So for example, we got like viruses in this game, right? That are in Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple. Will she give all these Beeruses 60% attack and defense? Because it stacks three times, right? Or, you know, Chompas, for example. Like, all Chompas would get 60% as well. Um, and units that are in, like, Siblings Bond and Realm of Gods, um, for example, like, uh, you know, SSB Vegeta, right? Like, could he potentially... Wait, I think SSB is also in Bond of Master and Disciple too, no? One sec, let's check. Um, let's see, SSBE Vegeta, there he is, okay, so he would also get like 60% attack and defense too, right? So, like I said, I can't confirm that this is exactly how she works, she could only just give 20% attack and defense regardless of how many categories, or how many of these categories a unit is in. But if she does give this multiple times over, and for herself too, she's in all these categories, right? So she would get like attack and defense plus 80% here, plus this 60%. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'm getting a little bit excited about this Vados, but uh, if she ends up not working in the way that I feel like she does, then she is a little bit like meh, you know, she's like whatever, but um, we'll see. So there's the uh, passive right there and the links are Innocent, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Rival Duo, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Realm of Gods, Universe 6, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master, and disciple. So yeah, there's the video guys. Uh, took a little bit longer than I thought it would to cover all this stuff, but hopefully it was worth it. Um, and all these units look really good. That Vados is a bit of a question mark, but it, like I said, she could be very insane depending on how, how her passive actually works. Uh, this Kefla is incredible. The Khalifla is incredible. She already was incredible before the EZA. Well, not the EZA, the uh, Dokken Awakening. So she's even better now. Same thing with uh, with the base Kale. And I'm also excited, super, super excited to get the details for the uh, AGL Khalifla and Fizz Kale EZAs as soon as they drop. So definitely stay tuned for that, but for now, that is the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.